The chess master recommends knight to g6. You move your knight to g6. White counters with knight takes rook. Your knight takes knight. White counters with the bishop to f5. You move your pawn to g6, which threatens white's bishop at f5. White answers with pawn takes pawn, which threatens your bishop at d6 and isolates your pawn at d5. Your pawn takes pawn, which removes the threat on your bishop at d6. White replies by moving bishop to d3, which moves it to safety. You move your rook to b8. White counters by moving the knight to b5, which attacks your pawn at a7. As a result of this sequence of moves, the mobility of your pieces is somewhat increased, and the mobility of white's pieces is greatly decreased. Additionally, white's pawn structure is somewhat weakened. Also, the pressure on your king is somewhat decreased. The chess master recommends knight takes rook. Your knight captures rook. Black answers with knight takes knight. You move your bishop to d2. Black counters with the knight to e6, which takes the knight away from the edge of the board. You move your pawn to f5, which threatens black's knight at e6. Black answers with knight to g5, which moves it to safety and attacks your queen. You move your queen to h4, which moves it to safety and attacks black's knight at g5. Black counters with the pawn to h6, which removes the threat on black's knight at g5. You move your king to h1. Black replies by moving the queen to d7. As a result of this sequence of moves, you win the exchange, rook for knight. The chess master recommends knight takes knight. Your knight captures knight. White counters with the bishop to f5. You move your pawn to g6, which threatens white's bishop at f5. White counters by moving the bishop to d3, which moves it to safety. You move your knight to e6, which moves it off the edge. White responds with the knight to b5, which blocks your pawn at b6. You move your bishop to a6, which pins white's knight. White responds by moving pawn to f5, which threatens your knight at e6. You move your knight to g5, which moves it to safety and threatens white's queen. White counters with the queen to h6, which moves it to safety, attacks your knight at g5 and blocks your pawn at h7. As a result of this line of play, you win a knight. In addition, the mobility of your pieces is greatly enhanced, and white's attack potential is decreased. Also, white's pawn structure is slightly weaker. Finally, the pressure on white's king is slightly increased. The chess master recommends bishop to f5. You move your bishop to f5. Black counters with the queen to e7. You move your bishop to d2. Black counters with the knight to e6, which takes the knight away from the edge of the board. You move your rook at a1 to e1. Black responds with the pawn to g6, which threatens your bishop at f5. You move your bishop to c2, which moves it to safety. Black answers with bishop to a6, which threatens your rook at f1. You move your rook to f2, which moves it to safety. Black replies by moving the rook to c8. As a result of this sequence of moves, the development of black's pawns is a little weaker.